Hi guys. Right, what have we got here? Four toothbrushes, little electric vibrating toothbrushes. Hmm. Still got a bit of power in them. A bit worn out. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's still got a bit of power. It's given up now. Anyway, so I've got four electric motors there. And I've got Amazon Prime 30 day free trial here. Gift card. I'm going to do two requests at once. Back in 2014, I had a request from Death Tracks to do an electric powered car using a gift card as the chassis. So we have a gift card there. And recently, Amrit Young Dangi, apologies for pronunciation, uh, he wants a car that has four motors on each wheel. Now I think what he means is one motor on each wheel, four wheels. I don't think he expects to have four motors on every wheel. That would be 16 motors. So I'm going to use the motors out of these, which are tiny, and put them on there, one on each corner, and put a wheel directly on each one, straight on the motor shaft. So I'll have a four-motored electric-powered car on a gift card. Not sure what battery I'll use yet. I'll think about that in a minute. So I'll take these apart. In the video description there'll be a link to how you get the motors out of these. So I won't video myself doing that. I've done a nice little video on how to do it. You have to take them out and you also have to take there's little weight on the end of them that makes them vibrate. You need to take that weight off as well. So I'll do all that. So I've got four motors Stick them on here, and I'll have an electric car. I said I wouldn't show the full disassembly, but I have taken the motor components out of the toothbrushes. So we've got four motor packs there. And that's the actual motor in the end there, tiny, with this little offset metal weight on it that makes it vibrate. That's interesting. I just took apart the four toothbrushes there and two of them have got black end caps and two of them have got sort of creamy white ones. And I remember Slider 2732 telling me that's how you've got a power rating on them. And certainly these two have got much stronger magnets than these two. So that's an interesting turn up. They all come out with the same type of toothbrush, but we seem to have two different power ratings. One problem I will have is the shaft is very thin on these motors. Even these tiny little cars have got thicker shafts on them, or axles. So what I've actually done is I've pushed a pin right the way through the wheel, because it doesn't have a hole on the outside. So I've pushed the wheel onto the motor in reverse through the little pinhole, so that it's got something to grip onto. All up together. There's very little to it. We've got four electric motors, one in each corner, using wheels off a toy car. That's the sort of toy car I pinched them off. So we've got them wired so red goes to blue and red goes to blue so they're reversed front and back. So that means this wheel turns that way and that wheel also turns that way but the motors are turning opposite directions. 
hook that makes sense. And then I've brought the wires around the other side. We've got a single AAA battery. And I've got a little neodymium magnet on that one, so we can use that as the on-off switch. So, I'll get ready to grab the camera and try and chase it. I think it might go a little bit fast for me. Oop. Gone. <laughs>